We're back at Grand Central Bakery's wholesale location, and Mel is going to show us how they make their famous artisan breads. And from what I hear, there's one major thing that separates their bread from the rest of the pack. Shepherd's grain flour, grown by farmers throughout eastern Washington. So this holds 38,000 pounds of flour, and we get 36 to 38,000 pounds of flour every eight to nine days. All of the flour in there is from Shepherd's grain. Yeah. And, uh, so we can link this to the farmers, which is very cool. We all love the smell of fresh, home-cooked bread, and right now, I'm in heaven. And so today's the, the biggest shape day, so these guys will probably shape about, I bet they're shaping close to 4,000 uh, loaves today. Wow. After my quick tour of the facility, Mel showed me how to make their peasant loaf. So let's not waste any time, let's make some dough. To make the peasant loaf, we'll start by allowing the shepherd's grain flour to hydrate in water. So allowing the, those grains to hydrate, because we're not using any white flour at all, okay. um, they get to soak up the water, enzyme activity starts to happen, and it helps keep the mix time short. And so at home, when people make this? They would do the same thing. You would do the same thing in your, in your bowl, or if you were using a KitchenAid, you'd put your water, all your flours, and, uh, and you can already see it's starting to get some strength sure. just from sitting there. So How the, long would they let it sit in there? 20 minutes. 20 to 30 minutes. And obviously your mixer will be a little smaller than this. <laughs> yes, <laughs> just a little bit. Mel showed me a cool trick to make better tasting bread Grand Central Bakery style. So what we have here is the Levon. Okay. And this has been fermented overnight and it's got a little bit of um, uh, culture in it, but it's basically a pre-ferment. And we basically fermented a percent of the flour already. And if you feel this, you can feel it's really strong. Yeah. And, and so can, people will take this and this and they'll make dough. Okay. Yeah. Next, we add our salt and continue mixing on high speed. You know it's almost done when your dough forms what Mel calls a pumpkin. So this is looking pretty that close. That looks so cool. Yeah. <laughs> What's the biggest mistake people make when they're making bread at home? Um, to not use enough water. <laughs> I think because People get scared of like a wet, a wet dough and it being sticky. Sure. And so they'll make the dough be very um, stiff so it's easier to work with. So there's your dough and then this will ferment uh, for 90 minutes. Okay. So this has a pretty short fermentation schedule um, because we fermented a lot of the flour already. Um, so this so would that, be their bowl at home. Yep. Greased. Got a little bit of greased. yeah, a little oil on there. Cover it with a towel. Cover it with a towel or saran wrap. Or, or plastic, okay. And then just put this on your countertop. Just at ambient temperature. Yeah. So now I'll try my hand at forming some dough. Press evenly on the dough to degas it. Next, fold over the edge. Kind of push it down with your thumbs. Roll the dough once more and make sure to fold in the ends with your pinkies. That's okay. <laughs> Flatten out the lip, add some flour to the seam, and place in the basket for decorative detail. Now, let this proof for about 90 minutes, and then it's on to the oven. For more information on this recipe and others, visit our website at wagrown.com. Washington is known for many things, and one of those is potatoes. Washington's potatoes give Grand Central Bakery's loaves a smooth and tasty quality. We roast potatoes, and we add them at the end, so they're just incorporated, so you still get some nice little chunks of potato in there, so you get these nice toasty potato bites. So there's there's the flavor component, especially because we roast them, so we've got all that extra flavor and you, the caramelization. But the starches interact with the gluten and they uh, kind of, they almost tenderize it in a way. So anything that's got potato in it or potato flour will have a really tender crumb, which is a desirable feature for certain products. I've had a great time learning all about the process of making great bread, so now let's try some. Here are the whole grain breads look finished. Look how great they look. Yeah. And now the moment I've been waiting for. This is what we were making. This is what we were making. And so it's the whole grain. The whole grain. So whole wheat, emmer, spelt, and rye flour. No white flour. Okay. And when you smell it, you definitely can smell the graininess um, mm -hmm. of it and a little bit of, of sour. Thank you so much for having us here. And oh, you're welcome. Showing us around and teaching us how to make bread and I love it. I'm going to try it. Yeah, try Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. So delicious.